So it's a really exciting series, full of adventure, full of action. What made you want to be a part of it? Well, all of that really, yeah. I mean, I think one of the main things for me was, uh, first and foremost, it always starts with the script, always starts with the character you've been asked to, to look at. And I'd never had the opportunity to play someone uh, as potentially complex and, and dynamic and, and um, if I make him dynamic, I might not, but, um, and, and as sort of headstrong, I think, uh, not, certainly not in, a, in such a big, big production. I think that was one of the, one of the major draw, draw cards for me. I think on top of that, though, it, I, was, I was encouraged and by the sense of ambition uh, the ITV, ITV studios had um, and certainly what the execs were telling me and, and what Stephen Small, the producer, was telling me. And having seen that first episode, I mean, it all, all depends on taste and style, doesn't it? But I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm never impressed with me, but I think the, I think the piece looks amazing. I mean, that CGI, I've, n I've not seen, I've never seen CGI like that on British television, I don't think. I, mean, I know Tim is obviously, Tim Haynes is obviously, you know, a, a bit of a specialist in that. But I think yeah, it's, it's really, really strong and really encouraging and it's got all the ingredients you want, you know. I mean, people are going to brand names like Game, Game of Thrones, but it's not that. It's so vastly different to that. Um, obviously, that's an immensely popular show, but this, this is going to engage with a family audience who don't, who, you know, it's, it's, it's going to have everybody sitting down and watching, I think, I hope. But yeah, it's good. It's really encouraging. And Selene is very angsty and frustrated when we yeah. meet him. Do we discover new layers of, to him as I we go through? I hope so. Mm. I hope so. I suppose that depends on how well I, I play him, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, but I think we were talking about it earlier on in the press conference that, you know, I think characters, good characters should always have sort of, sort of light and dark anyway. And even, you know, I, I don't think it's a, it's a clear-cut clear case of him being a bad guy. Or, yes, he's angsty, but he's got a lot to be angry about. You know, his dad, his dad who who basically rejected him most of his life has now just died. And he should have made, he should have made me king, he should have made me Thane with my birthright. And he didn't, he was taken away from me. And he gave it to my mother. And there's never been a female Thane before. And he's given it to my mother, the one person in my family who I'm actually close to. So he knows he's gonna be, he's messing with my head and he's messing with our, my, the only strong relationship I've got within my family. Um, you, you, and then you factor in Beowulf, who was one of the main um, reasons that my father and I have such problems because, you know, Beowulf was sort of, could do no wrong in, in my father's eyes. And I was like, well, who, who, this guy came in when he was a kid and took, took my father's affection. And now he's still managing to do it from, beyond, from once my father's dead. So I think he's got every right to be angry to start with. And you mentioned your dad, your character's dad, mm. who's played by William Hurt. Yeah. What a thrill to play his son. What was it like working yeah, with him? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a really wicked guy. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's been a real pleasure working with many people, but, but William was, I was thrilled when I, and I only had, to, to be fair, sadly, I only had a, a couple of moments to play out with him. Maybe, the, maybe there'll be more, I don't know. Um, but we, uh, yeah, the one particular scene um, where I had to go in and I, I, you know, I think he's about to tell me that, son, I'm gonna make you say now, and I think this is the moment. And instead he sort of pulls me in and, and says he's only got one thing for me, and he smacks me across the face. Now, most of the time when you do that when you're shooting, you pretend to smack someone across the face. But William thought it would be a really good, good idea to actually <laughs> hit me one. Uh, and then we'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry that that hurt. That yeah, hurt. I'd be like, no, 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 Will, it's fine, don't worry about it, we'll, we'll go again. And then cut to the next take, and then we'd paint the scene, and bam, oh, no, no, no. I, can, I felt that, I can see it stinging, is that, is that okay? I was like, yeah, 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 Will, it's fine, it's fine. This will keep happening. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'll be like, Will, listen, it's fine. But yeah, mate, <laughs> we have a little chat about this. But you know, he was cool. And, it, and to be fair, oh, there's a part of me that it's, uh, it's not, not a sadistic part of me, but I, I actually quite like when it gets all real and it gets like that, I'm quite into it. So it's, 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 it was good.